Are you wondering about cutting to a GraphTech plotter with Adobe Illustrator 2023? Well, Cutting Master 5 is here, and we're going to run through it. We go. Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to the Graphic Insights channel, where we're here to help you grow your digital business by providing sales and marketing strategies, how-to videos, media and equipment reviews, industry news, and more. So let's dig into the new Cutting Master 5. We're working here in Illustrator on a Mac. Um, it'll be very similar on the PC. There are a few differences, and there's quite a few differences between Cutting Master 4 and Cutting Master 5. Cutting Master 5 is no longer made by SAI. And to start off with, let's, uh, let's go with some of the registration marks. So right now we already have a cut contour, uh, which we have gone through in other videos. So if we go ahead and select our cut contour to make our crop marks, we'll come up, we'll go to File, Cutting Master 5, Registration Marks, and this looks a little bit different than our previous models of the Cutting Master. So right here we have our uh, graph tech points. Most common is going to be like a four points type two or one of the segmented type twos down below. Uh, four type, four point type two. Right here you have your sizes uh, for borders if you want them. You can go ahead and put this in. It'll bring it in from the left, the top, the bottom, or the right. Or you can have them aligned with the documentation. Usually I'll select it and then set my crop marks. Go ahead, hit OK, and it will apply them. If we hit undo, so we can go ahead and show you some of the other ones. We have Cutting Master 5 here with registration marks. And let's go ahead and choose some of the segmented. You do notice once you turn on the segmented area, then you have more op another option down here. And this is going to be how far along it sets another set of crop marks. So this would be at like 19 inches. Let's go something like 4 just so we can see what it'll do on the screen for you. Um, it works great on long items for keeping very accurate cutting. So if we go ahead and hit OK to apply those, now you can see how it added them in every four inches. Alrighty. So at this point, if we went over and we sent them to the Cutting Master 5, go ahead and send them over. We will see our layout down below. First tab is going to be everything to do with layout. We can pull the size from our plotter. Here's our X positions. Um, you can also drag them on the screen if you'd like. You can do an interactive show of what it would cut prior to cutting by moving the vinyl in and out. And down here you have your different options of send it to the data link, save to a file if you want to open it with a USB, or you can send it right to the cutter, which is probably the most common. These also can be connected with USB or a network cable. Next one, what we have is our layers. So if we go by all, by color, or by layer, you can see that we have our cut contour or artwork. The other advantage of doing them by layers, it's easy to see what you want to work with. And if you have if you have different layers here, you could do a cut contour and a perf, like we've covered in some other videos. It works the same in this one. You just enable your drivers, and then we can set uh, one of the cutting conditions, you know, if we wanted to cut one for a regular cutting, then if we had another perf, we could go and set like six if that was our perf cut setting. For right now, we're just going to show the regular contour. Next one over, we have uh, convert stroke to outlines. Be careful. That can do a double cut. Auto weld can work great if you have overlapping text, uh, maybe like an A or an X, uh, something like that, where the two legs of the letter may overlap. It will automatically weld them. You can uh, pause between pages. 
Uh, the couple other things that might be cutting direction, you have original, clockwise, or counterclockwise. One of the um, really needed features that it does have and previous versions had is you can choose a priority. So the uh, restrict media movement, especially if you're doing perf cutting, um, that's a real asset. It will minimize the actual feed and cut everything across the uh, scan motion of the cutter before it moves on. So that'll stop a lot of the forward and back jumping. Next one over would be our paneling. Um, in most cases, paneling is not going to be available when you do have crop marks on. Then we have our copies, and this section is our crop marks. If you ever have your media set smaller and it gives you a warning you can't use crop marks for a small media, if you hit the pole, it goes back to the large media. Make sure to go in and check that this is turned on. If you turn it off, we will see our registration marks do disappear. And on the last tab over, we have the information for our plotter. Um, you can also go to the remote panel utility, which we'll cover in another video. That is how you can adjust the plotter right from your computer. You can go in and name your settings again, which is a nice feature to have back. Then you can come down and you can go ahead and do the cut for output. Before you send it, um, or the first time you set the program, you will need to check and add your plotter up here. If you have multiple plotters, they will all show in this drop down. To add a plotter, you will just hit the plus, set the name of the plotter, you can just select which one you have. These will all work with the software. Then you can choose your interface, whether it is going to be USB, LAND, or an older RS-232. So once you have it set up, you hit OK. And now you have your two plotters up here, or at least the one that you need, if need be. Then you hit your output, and that will continue. One thing I would like to point out in previous versions of the Cutting Master, you could put your crop marks inside the artwork. By doing so, you could make another layer just call this one uh, cut box. And we could take this and say move our crop marks in here. Once it is selected where we want it, we make sure that there is no cut or any path on that. We'll shut off our other paths. Come over, go to our Cutting Master 5, hit our registration marks. We're only going to want to do the 4. So segmented 4, type 2. So the, uh, hopefully that will be fixed soon. Um, it does allow us to put them in, but when we send it over it errors at this point. So uh, at this point on the Mac, this inside feature, how these crop marks are inside and not outside our cut path, they do seem to be an issue. On the Windows side, they are still working and uh, hopefully that'll be fixed quickly by the time you see this. It may have already been fixed, so maybe something you wanna give it a try. Thank you. If you liked this video, please uh, check the like and if you found the content useful go ahead and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell so that you can see future videos